Hello and welcome to the PCTV Magazine. I'm Matthew. Happy spring. This pollen is killing me. And I'm Emily. Hey Matt, I don't know about the pollen, but your tie is killing me. Oh, thanks Em. It's uh, an extra large tie for plus size infants. Yeah, Matt, typically people only steal candy from babies. <laughs> Emily, you're awful punny tonight. What gives? Well, I'm still kind of jet lagged from Relay for Life. Uh. In fact, let's head over to that story right now. Hi, I'm Ellie Wallace, reporting for PCTV News. It's March 22nd. I'm here in Peterson for PC's 11th annual Relay for Life. First, let's hear from a member of Colleges Against Cancer who helped organize this event. Hi, my name is Tony Filatico. I'm the president of Colleges Against Cancer. I'm a junior and this is my first year as the president. Colleges Against Camper, Cancer it has a large amount of, a uh, large number of people. About 300 people are signed up for the club. We get about 50 people at each meeting. Uh, we work with survivors, we work with people who are fighting cancer, we work to educate the campus and the surrounding area about cancer, and we work to prevent cancer. To prepare for this event, we start meetings at the beginning of the semester, and we start talking about a theme, we start talking about what sort of events we want uh, in the, on stage, uh, and then we start fundraising, we start uh, attracting teams, we start attracting team captains and we really try and energize them and get them motivated for the event. Last year we had about 870, I think was the last count. Um, it's looking pretty good. It's looking like around 800. Uh, I'd be happy if we got about, uh, it's about a quarter of the campus, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Before tonight, we've raised a, upwards of uh, $50,000, which is fantastic. Last year, overall, we had about 75,000. This year, personally, I'm hoping to break 85,000, and it's looking like we just might do that, so it's looking really good. Behind me, I'm sure you can see, are people walking laps for this incredible event. Let's head down and see what they have to say and what they have planned for this evening. Hey everyone, this is Jess from PCTV News, and I'm here at Relay for Life, and there are so many fun activities going on. Right behind me is the jail. Father Cuddy is in jail right now and you can pay to get him out and all the money goes to Relay for Life to raise money for cancer. There's also henna, a bake sale, dance performances, acapella group performances, literally everything. Hi PC, my name is Miguel Benwillis. I'm a freshman, I'm a business management major. I'm having so much fun here at the Relay for Life and the reason I'm doing this is because I know all the money we raise here is going for a good cause. I know I've had family members who suffer from uh, cancer and unfortunately some have died as well. So this is near and dear to my heart and I just recommend that everyone that's not out here, get your butts out here, have fun and enjoy it and go Team Ninja. Okay, so I'm Dana Roman, I'm here at Providence College and I'm a sophomore. And I'm Kristen Hinchy and I'm also a sophomore. And we're on Coaches for a Cure for Relay for Life 2013. Um, I'm donating my hair tonight and my goal is to walk 15 miles tonight. As you can see, this is a great and fun event to raise money for a great cause, to help to find the cure for cancer. Again, this is Ellie Wallace signing off for PCTV News. What a heartwarming story. It's a proud day in Friartown when so many students can come out for such a great cause. True that, Matt. Hey, didn't you do a story on something that's being offered to help cancer patients? Medical marijuana? In a way, but this next story in our Perspectives of Providence segment uh, is going to tell the tale of campus opinions on marijuana for recreational use. Let's check that out right now. How do you feel about the legalization of marijuana for recreational use? That's what it was, okay. I've been against uh, marijuana for my career in, in public safety. And we're currently in a sea change of perceptions around uh, marijuana. Yes, I think it should be legalized because it's good for the economy. We have so many people in jail just for smoking weed. We've actually noticed an increase in the use of marijuana on campus. A lot of people, a majority of people who smoke, and I feel like um, recreational use, like it'll just get used a lot more than it already is. Personally, I think it should be legalized because it just doesn't make sense to me how something that can be used uh, for medical purposes could be illegalized on the street. The state of Rhode Island has uh, decriminalized uh, small amounts of uh, marijuana possession. How will that affect Providence College? I, especially at PC, I think it'll definitely get abused. Well, Providence College is uh, 
part of the United States Department of Higher Education, so uh, federally speaking, it's still a crime to possess marijuana. Marijuana is an interesting um, drug regarding uh, legalization and also uh, having it be medicalized. Uh, it's a, a policy violation uh, on the college campus. But I feel like it might just become the next alcohol and we don't need two of those. I haven't heard of any causes of deaths from marijuana and I've heard so many from alcohol. So if you compare those two, marijuana is definitely a safer choice in my opinion. Things like alcohol are far more destructive. It just, it doesn't add up. When we ingest any kind of drug, we want to be sort of reasonable and thoughtful about why we might be using something to change the way we think and feel. We have to determine whether the, uh, the individual should be arrested or not. Uh, other times that we will just uh, refer the, uh, the case to our Office of Community Standards. Uh, and it could invite in other drug use as well. What a relevant subject, and it's interesting to see that the people who opposed legalization didn't seem to understand that the grass might be greener on the other side. Yes, we're uh, certainly on a roll this week. So let's buzz right along to our next segment that highlights a local business that sells everyone's favorite munchies. Here is Hot and Cold. Hi, this is Melissa Bryan for PCTV News, and today we're here at Hut and Cold at the one-year anniversary celebration. Hut and Cold is a small business on the corner of Smith and River Ave, just a five-minute walk from Providence College. They sell frozen yogurt and coffee. Let's see what they have inside and what the owner, Vicki, has to say about the business. And we're here with Vicki Fernandez, the owner of Hut and Cold, and why don't you tell us a little bit about how you started this business? I started the business about a year ago is when we opened. We started doing the projects about a year and a half ago. I have um, business experience. I have an entrepreneurial heart and we wanted to do something that was community based. I live right down the street so it was really important for me to stay in this area. And I know that you said that you chose this location because you're from around here but um, what do you think about the market of PC students at Providence College and why do you think they should come here? Oh yeah, I'm definitely very happy with the support that we've gotten from the faculty and also the students at PC. So we are very happy and grateful for that. Well, we offer an a alternative to ice cream, which is a little bit more healthier. I'm not going to say that once you put all the cookie dough on it, it's going to be <laughs> that great. But, um, you know, you have fruit toppings. Uh, our smoothies are fresh smoothies with, with fruit in them. And we offer protein drinks and a lot of skinny options. And like I said, the yogurt uh, has a lot of good probiotics in it, so it's a good alternative. Alternative. Thank you for talking with us and is there any way we can get in contact with Hunt and Cold like Facebook like what kind of social network? Is? Yes our favorite social um, network right now is Instagram and you can find us at Hot and Cold Providence on Instagram. We also have a Facebook page which is Hot and Cold uh, Frozen Yogurt and Coffee and we also have a Twitter. Uh, I love Hot and Cold. All right, thank you for talking with us. Looks like some delicious local cuisine. Hey Matt you live nearby have you ever been? Yeah, it's a great place to cool off in the red-hot Rhode Island summertime. And with the warm summer weather on its way and so many people going out to enjoy the sun, let's take a look at Angela with our favorite intramurals. Throughout the school year, Providence College Intramurals offers an array of sports that many students can participate in. But today, the spotlight is on volleyball. I caught up with some players and even intramural director Nick Sweats and his staff and asked them about intramurals. I like intramurals because uh, it gives me a chance to play with a lot of sports with a lot of my friends. Uh, a lot of different sports, I usually wouldn't play with them. I like intramural sports because it keeps me fit and active. I like intramural sports because it's a great way to interact with different people. <laughs> um, I'm able to do all the sports that I did in high school without having to commit to a varsity sport. Um, it's fun. And we just win one, so I'm happy with that. The reason why I like intramural so much here is like because I can put a team together with my friends. Go out, we can play a different group of friends. It's real cool. You know, get to meet new people. So I really love it here. Um, it's great stuff. Great way to stay in shape, too, for sure. Well, because it gives the student body a great opportunity to play sports on a regular basis. We have multiple leagues for more competitive players and for less. And it's just all about intramural glory, which is personified in the t-shirt that you win at the end of the championship season. And it's all about having fun. It's great to you know, get out with your friends. To get the environment uh, to play, play their sports even after, after high school, uh, now in college. Gives them the atmosphere to meet other students, interact with one another. Um, so it gets them to, uh, it's more like student building. Um, 
personal development, as we say. Um, so it's a great environment for them to meet friends that they'll meet for the rest of their lives. Um, I can say personally, I met my best friends through Intermarrows myself as a student. Being an alum of, of Providence College, um, I still look back at Intermarrows as one of the um, most exciting moments of my career here. Volleyball, I never played in high school. So we have A and B um, divisions, so our A divisions are more, um, more for people that have played the sport before, whereas B is for those people that never really played. I always played B. Um, but it's just a, it's a great environment for kids that never got the, they got the chance to actually play these sports. For PCTV Sports, I'm Angelo Marciano. Wow, the local heroes of Friartown are truly spectacular, and those ultimate Frisbee players are really fine athletes. Yeah, the uh, talent this year is really palpable. And while Matthew and I indulge in an instant replay of that last clip, let's take a look at our latest piece from entertainment. I'm gonna go pop some tags. <sighs> Only got $20 in my pocket. If you're looking for the goodies, keep on looking, because they stay in the jar. I'm not being too dramatic. That's just the way I gotta have it. Okay, let me see you get high. Go low. Go low. Let me see you drop the thing down to the floor. I'm here for like one night. How far can you go? I wanna see you work out for me. You know, with so much drama in the LPC, it's, uh, it's kind of hard being Snoop D-O-double-G, but uh, I somehow, some way, keep coming up with funky ass shit every single day. How come every time you come around, my London London Bridge want to go down? I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. You got to rub me the right way. You know, I, um, I started from the bottom, and now I'm here. You know, um, I started from the bottom, and now... Oh, God. And, and now my whole team is right, it's right here with me. You know what I mean? It's, like, it's a good feeling. <laughs> so he called me up the other day, and he's like, oh, I still love you. And I'm like, this is exhausting. We're never getting back together, like, ever. I set fire to the rain. Watch it burn as I touch your face. Can you take me to the candy shop? I want to lick a lollipop. Beep boop beep boop beep boop beep boop 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 beep boop. Things are doing great, and then to my surprise, some people walked in I didn't recognize. I said, "Fellas, hey, you gotta get out." Hey man, I thought this was an open house. Open house? Yeah, that's what the flyer said. I didn't put up flyers. Well, somebody did. Who's that girl? Who's that girl? It's John. You know I. I started from the bottom, and now um, and now my whole team is, is here with me. You know, it's, it's a great feeling. <laughs> they have to be the best department in PCTV. Emily, you're in that department. That's why it's so awesome. Well, in any case, we must confess that concludes this week's magazine. Until next time. Goodbye, Friars. Goodbye.